So I'm Julie Hiragoyen. I'm the Chief Executive of the UK Green Building Council, which is a charity and an industry network with a mission to radically improve the sustainability of the built environment. Uh, firstly, energy efficiency, 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 reduce energy demand. Um, that's really, really important. And then after that, it's about procuring renewable, credible renewable electricity where possible and offsetting any residual emissions with credible additional offsets. I think the time for action is really on us now, so no more sort of um, persuasion skills required really. The whole world seems to be in agreement that we need to get to net zero carbon as soon as possible. What we really need um, amongst our professionals and, and project professionals in particular is guidance and advice on how to get there. So getting really practical and tactical um, and understanding the sort of the, the whole life in carbon and cost implications of taking some of those actions as soon as possible. I think the really important um, skill and uh, focus for project professionals in particular is to, is to look beyond their individual discipline and to look much more widely at the whole sort of um, project um, you know, value chain and try as, as much as possible to partner, to collaborate, to agree the, the desired outcomes right at the start and then everyone's driving those together. So that point about collaboration is really, really important. No one, no one can do this on their own. For the construction industry to really achieve net zero carbon, um, we need a significant amount of policy gaps to be filled in the next decade. Um, most importantly, we need home retrofit policy, national retrofit strategy. We need regulation around embodied carbon, and we need better new build regulations. The key takeaways from COP26 in Glasgow are that we now have 90% of global emissions under some form of net zero target, which is up from 30% only five or six years ago, which is a really, really important signal. Unfortunately, the 2030 goals don't yet go far enough. So what we really need to focus on now is those, those near-term targets and immediate action um, you know, by all of those nation states so that we really do start to align more closely with 1.5 and not to 2.5 degrees.